about 13, I think, and I'd said, now, Jackie, we'll um, do get the Piatti Caprices, you know, which are sort of equivalent to the Paganini on the fiddle, and the Elgar. And this was on a Wednesday. She had one wen Wednesday lesson and one Saturday one. And she was to bring them on Saturday. And on Saturday, I said, well, Jackie, have you got them? Yes. She said, I haven't done much. I haven't done much at all. I said, no, well, crack things open, see what you've done. So let's start. Anyway, Jackie sat down. Number one, Capri, she played fluently from memory. And one and a half movements of the Elgar. Pretty impeccable, completely from memory. She must have got the music on, I would say, Thursday. Thursday afternoon. Friday, she was free to practice, naturally. 10 o'clock was her lesson Saturday morning, so you can work that out. You could see it quite strongly on the first day. And as the next few lessons went on, it just sort of unfolded itself like a flower, so much that you knew then that you had a sort of endlessness and that everything was possible. It gave me an enormous pleasure, inward pleasure, to see this child flourish as I knew she would. And all I say is, God bless her, and may she have a very great career, which has already begun, because such heaven-sent gifts don't appear every day. She's sometimes now accused of uh, excessive emotions and things, but I love it. Because when you're young, you should have an excess of everything. If you haven't an excess, what are you going to pair off as the years go by? The beginning. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. Come on, let's play the beginning. Now give her the fiddle. Wait a moment. Go on, Dito. Watch. Just a minute. Just a minute. Let them get the instrument. Sure. <laughs> Do you remember it, Frank? No. <laughs>